What is your personal favorite ARM-based device? Um, their GPU product line. Describe the future of computing in one word. Exciting. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about the future of computing? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say 10. It's a very exciting uh, future for computing. There's a lot of innovation going on, and I think you know, with the advent of generative AI, we're only going to see more um, applications for computing uh, in our technology. What do you see as the breakthrough technology in the next decade? Clearly AI. Um, I think generative AI is going to be the breakthrough technology for many years to come. What will have the biggest impact on technology over the next decade? AI, the metaverse, or ambient computing? I would say AI, again. I think um, it, it's transformational. Um, we're just cr scratching the surface on its capabilities uh, with things like large language models and uh, you know, computational software. I think our customers, as well as uh, my company, uh, we're just scratching the surface on, on its possibilities. Augmented reality, virtual reality, or mixed reality, which has the biggest potential? I would say mixed. If you could choose between more performance or more performance per watt, which one would you choose? More performance per watt. I think we have to keep in mind that um, as the computing power, the computing infrastructure increases, we're going to require it's going to require a lot more power drain on our um, power grids, and so it's it's a concern. We want to make sure that we're friendly to the to the uh, to the ecosystem and to the planet. Some analysts predict that automotive will be the most important sector for driving semiconductor growth. What part of the vehicle drives this growth in particular? Um, autonomous driving, anything related with autonomous driving. On a scale of one to ten, how big of a challenge is security across connected devices? 10. Is Moore's Law really coming to an end? I hope not. It seems everybody is pursuing more performance despite the murmurs of Moore's Law ending. What do you think will drive the most performance rise when manufacturing chips? Would it be novel materials, 3D-enabled designs, or the simplification of processor instructions, or advanced packaging? Advanced packaging, 3D, I see. What will experience the biggest evolution over the next decade for you, software or hardware? Yes, I would say software. What will be the best place for future processing needs, the edge or the cloud? Yeah, I would say the edge. Where do you see most of AI taking place, the edge or the cloud? <laughs> I would say on the edge. There seems to be a rise in OEMs designing their own SOCs. What do you see as the main driver? Is it differentiation of features, design flexibility, or supply longevity? Uh, all of the above, but I, would, I was going to lead with uh, differentiation. What will be the single biggest challenge in computing over the next decade? Um, managing the complexity. When you think about the next 10 years, what one computing trend will fuel your company's growth the most? Computer architecture and design. What's your favorite thing about ARM technology? High quality and flexibility. How important is ARM technology for your future roadmap? Very. Roughly how many products do you have that are ARM-based? Too many to count. And what is your favorite ARM-based product or technology from your company? All of them. Do you have a favorite memory working with ARM that you could share with us? The partnership. I just, uh, you know, in terms of memory, yeah, it's just the partnership. They're a great partner to work with, very collaborative. Uh, we have a lot of synergy with our mutual customers.